Hi, this is Dave with the RH Acrylic Creations. Today we're going to be doing the final of my Colorado uh, Rocky Mountain Sunset. Uh, as the name implies, this is not going to be representational. This is going to be the feeling of that sunset. Uh, the colors I have going today are the same colors I've used a couple times in the past. But this is, uh, this is Interference uh, Violet and Violet Sparkle. This is Interference Red, Interference Red and Red Sparkle. This is Interference Blue and Blue Sparkle. This is Interference Gold and Gold Sparkle. Over on the pigment side, we're going to be using, going across, this is a uh, color from This Little Piggy. It is called Supernova. This is uh, a, another This Little Piggy. It is called Twilight a violet color with a little bit of shimmer. This is uh, This Little Piggy, Horizon. And this is This Little Piggy, Sapphire. Okay, on top of the, to start with, I'm gonna be putting down a swath of golden vernaconome nickel azo gold. That's a mouthful. So, and you can see the consistency there. Okay, my, my cell activators for today, are I won't show them, but they're it's uh, Bone Black by Amsterdam, Titanium White by Amsterdam, and a combination of Precious Gold by PBO and uh, Iridescent Gold Deep by Amsterdam, all mixed with three parts Australian Floetrol. Uh, My pillow paint for today is PPP, PPG Multi Pro in eggshell, and it's my go to these days. So let me get you down to the canvas and we'll get started. Telepaint is going down now. That's PVG Multi Pro in eggshell. Get that at Home Depot. It's fairly inexpensive and it's my go to for white pillow paint. So the goal here is to get a, the pillow paint at about four inches from either each one of the sides. This is Cronachinome Nicolazzo Gold. It looks kind of brownish here, but it, because it's a semi-transparent, it spreads out and has an amazing ability to enhance. Next is Horizon. The Horizon is, a, uh, is an orange with a gold undertone. Lots and lots of iridescence with this one. Our next color up is Twilight. Twilight is a uh, deep violet with a gold silver undertone and a little bit of blue. Our next color is Supernova. Supernova here looks like it's a pink, but it has a dramatic shift to uh, a blue, and it's a blue velvet. And I chose Supernova to pair with this color, which is Sapphire. Very deep, rich blue. Uh, probably one of my favorite sapphires that you can purchase. This is Interference Violet and Violet Sparkle. The, they're color art pigments, and they complement each other very well. 
and I've done this with every one of my ear interferences. Uh, the interference colors are colors that actually will look white until you get in the right uh, the right angle of light then that shine just comes through. This is an interference red and red sparkle. I'm kind of been trying to stay away from the middle but with the interference colors it's okay. They do better over dark colors. Our next color down is interference blue and blue sparkle and I'm looking for the blue to pair with the supernova and the uh, sapphire. I want the blue to be there. I want it to be predominant without being in the face, if that makes any sense at all. Our next color down is Interference Gold and Gold Sparkle. And that is just to give that little bit of something to uh, accentuate the last of the light. Okay, it's time for me to start thinking about putting down my cell activators. Cell activators first is the iridescent gold deep and precious gold. That's PBO and uh, Amsterdam products. And they're mixed with three parts Australian Floetrol. Next down is Titanium White by Amsterdam. Mixed exactly the same way. And last is gonna be Bone Black uh, by Amsterdam. If you missed anything today, no problem. Take a look down in the description. There's a link to everything that I use. I have available a 101 series of how I mix my paints, my pigments, uh, how I do my blooming, how I prepare my uh, cell activators, all in the 101 series. Uh, it's in my, uh, in my description below, and also there was a link on the bottom, above. Check it out if you're interested. What I've been doing here is just blowing it out. This is a, this is a flat-faced uh, blower, and I like this thing because it's low heat and it's not, it's not over powerful, so it's perfect for this. I think it's about time to spin. I want you to notice that I'm going to get very, very soft spin. It spins the first. I want to see how things are going to spread out. I'm keeping track of the composition.
really like to see what I'm seeing here. We've got some some beautiful cell work, and the color mixing is just exactly what I was looking for. I'm going to check for movement here and tilt a little bit and see how much paint I see moving around in the middle. Uh, and the main reason for this is you really don't want to leave too much paint on the canvas. It uh, runs a high risk of cracking and crazing. I'm liking what I'm seeing, and I think we're just about there. I think it's time for the flyover. I don't think I really could be much happier with the cells that I've gotten with this, this piece, and the way the colors have combined and created a beautiful um, impression of a sunset. You can see the interference blues and the interference violets. Uh, there's a few places where the, where the interference red kind of trickles through. Overall, this is, the colors are exactly what I was hoping they would be. If you found today's video useful, I'd invite you to give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and ring the bell for notifications of future videos that I put out. It's my goal to put out at least two per week, and I hope you're finding them both enjoyable and useful. Thanks for being here. Bye now.